Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And then let me, uh, let me intro this music real quick. Um, this is gonna be Cosmic Mutations. Um, again, from one of my favorite channels, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. Um, and these are actually gonna be archival recordings, um, volumes 1 through 8, uh, Death on Cassette. Um, I think I actually have played, played this kind of music on the, on... On these casts before, uh, lo-fi, dark, ambient. So, so I'm guessing this is a old school compilation right here. But even then, um, you'll you'll find out why here. But uh, I'm probably not going to be playing. Uh, I'm not not going to be playing that much of this music. So let's just go ahead and get her fired up. And I did forget to sound test this, so let me... Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll knock it down a little bit, but for the most part, this is going to be quiet music, so I don't want to turn it down that much. So... So, otherwise, um... For the most part, this was one of my lazy days. Um, just all beat up and tore up from work. So I just, um, I got up, uh, did my stream, but it, it was a pretty short one. I think I was on maybe about an hour, hour and a half. Um, just, uh, playing a new game that came out, I think, yesterday, Capcom Fighting Collection. Um, but, um, one problem I did have is, uh, Twitch doesn't recognize this game. Uh, like it's not a, it's not part of their database or anything. So, um, I had to, I had to stream in the retro category or the retro room, if that makes any sense at all. Which normally, despite the numbers, um, they're all seeing like, like maybe one or two, two big time streamers. Like they ain't giving anybody else the time of day. Um, Back when I first started streaming pinball, this is definitely the case. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, same thing. It's like, um, you might look at the stats and I might say, 10,000 people checking out this channel. But, uh, I'd say about at least 90% of that, percent of that, they're all, they're all checking out, like, like the top, te you know, top caliber big wig streamers, the real popular ones. They're, that's what they're all at, you know, or maybe the occasional boob streamer. They're probably all checking her out. So they're hardly ever checking on anybody else. So, so again, um, Final Fantasy XIV, um, you know, you know, ain't nobody, you know, ain't nobody checking out my stream. Uh, Retro, even when I was streaming pinball, a little bit, kind of better, uh, better, but even then, um, I think. It, I maybe had at the most probably like five people in my stream at one time maybe like six or seven or something but the average was around five it isn't like now um, I actually stream on the pinball channel where now it's like I get usually usually get quite a, you know almost twice as many people now as I did back then but uh, in case anyone asks, well, why why didn't you stream on the pinball channel, you know, back then? Um, problem is, Zuck, uh, because most of the people that are on the pinball channel are playing real pinball tables, and um, I stream uh, I stream virtual pinball FX3 and pinball arcade, um, Zachariah as well. So, I figured um I figured if I went on the went on the pinball channel, I have a bunch of fucking snobs coming on mine and. Go stream on the retro channel. This is for real pinball, not that virtual crap, you know, or something like that. It just, I mean, to me, pinball is pinball, whether it's real or whether it's quote unquote fake. You know, so basically, fuck them. But on the other hand, too, I don't want these people coming on my stream getting all fucking snooty with me. So that was that was why I was streaming on the retro channel all these years. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Come on.
So, but anyway, same thing here. Um, it was pretty much a dead stream today. I think maybe five, maybe ten people checked me out. Um, Guitaro87 came on too, but he got on towards the tail end of my stream when I was beginning to nod off. And plus, uh, my lower back, lower back was hurting. Um, the, the front of my shoulders, they were kind of tender as well, so figured... And then, then in, in the aforementioned nodding off, so figured discretion be, would be the better part of valor, and I just bailed out. So, um, but um, I mainly played uh, uh Vampire Savior and um, Super Puzzle Fighter Turbo. So it was that part of the stream went really great, though. It was like a walk down memory lane, especially a uh, Puzzle Fighter. In fact, let me. Let me go ahead and put the music on ice. And then... And yeah, I guess uh, one drawback to this fighting collection is uh, you can't turn the music completely off. So in order to do that, I had to actually... I had to rack my brain a little bit and had to come on the uh, actual music menu here, which silences everything. Bye -bye. But I mostly played Vampire Savior, which is uh considered to be one of the best fighting games of all time. It's uh like uh Darkstalkers. This is a fighting game that came out um back in the I want to say early to mid '90s. So I have played this one before, but to me it's just it's a Halloween themed Street Fighter. So I didn't think much more of it. And Night Warriors 2, Night Warriors 3, um, I think Vampire Hunter 2, Whoops. Dark Stalkers Revenge. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So let me uh Dark Stalkers 5, I think. Uh, Cyberbots. Hadn't played this one, but I I watched a gameplay sample and didn't really care for it. And, um, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. And I'm I might have. Oh, that's right. I did a I did a a quickie dicky gameplay demo. I made a video of this um yesterday, I think. Well, here's the basic idea right here. Here, I'll just do this. Um, just kind of give you guys an idea as to how this works. Then I'll... I'll just pick him. Like I said, I just... Just to give you an idea as to how this game plays. So it works just like Tetris. Uh, match the colors. The circles, the colored circles, will destroy gems of that color. So, like I said, you want to match them. But if you can match at least four, they'll combine into one big gem. And here's the green circle one. It's called a power gem. And you're going to send a whole bunch of gems their way now. Okay, now, now look on the now if you look on the right on Chun Li's side, if you see all those uh those gems with the numbers in them, after five turns or five drops, those will become real gems. So. Let's 
go. Sending three more her way. Sending three her way. And 18. Send a few more. Here, have some more. more and then if you oh guess I'm getting some and that and then I'll and then that big diamond that you saw whatever color you drop that diamond on destroys all gems of that color so but anyway I beat her so but anyway that's how that game plays but like I said, this is a game that I played the living hell out of back in the 90s. So, let me go ahead and bail out of that. And then, uh, Vampire Savior, like I said earlier, um, this is considered one of the best fighting games of all time. And, Vampire Savior, and I kind of have, of Vampire. I kind of have my own theory. I'll go ahead and show you, but... Um, one reason why is, um, it has random select, which for somebody like myself, um, who's, especially me because I'm fairly new to, the, I'm new to this game, I don't know who to pick, I don't know who's good or who's bad or who, or whatever, so yeah, I'd rather just, just, just random select, so it looks like I'm getting Lilith. So that's one reason, and then, and then we'll go over here. Um, one other thing, and I think this is exclusive to uh, this fighting collection, but there are one button specials on here. Um, and I think unlike Fantasy Strike, you can program them. You can program what uh, what your one button specials are and stuff, but you can't do it. You can't do it in game, but you can do it outside of it. So if you look at SP on the right, This game has auto block too. Second reason why, right there. That was the end of the round, but the transition between rounds is instant. I don't have to sit here and put up with the whole fanfare of KO. Oh, he got me. Plop. You win! <laughs> My shit don't sting. <laughs> you know, basically, like 30 seconds in between rounds. Like I said, for the transition from one round to the next is instant. I don't have to wait, so...
Oh, that's right, I have a set for four rounds. Oh, she got hers off first. So she gets blown up by her own bomb. See, now they do the score, all the scoring and stuff at the end of the battle, not right smack in the middle of it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... But anyway, um, that's... And, but again, that's my theory. That's probably why um, Vampire Saviors here is probably one, considered one of the best games of all time. It's just, there's just no fluff, no bullshit. You know, none of that extra fanfare. And there's random select as well, so great for somebody like myself. But I checked this earlier. Um, Vampire Hunter 2. Hunter and Savior, these ones too. They also have random select, and I think they have, uh... They got the uh, quickie version too. A quick uh, round transition. Warzard. Um, Red Earth. And, uh, I don't... Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll try to show this, but this is what you get when you combine a fighting game and RPGs. Like, you can, uh, you can level up your fighter and stuff. Like, you get XP and all that. Uh, I'll just pick a mage. And, um, uh, whenever you, uh, Whenever you finish a game, you'll get a password at the end of it. Okay, so uh, okay, so you can't skip it. No mercy. Attack. <laughs> Oh, I missed I missed it whatever that was. Didn't mean to do that. And try to jump. Oh, 
But yeah, it's like, um, this here, it's basically a boss rush. Because there's, I don't, that I can recall, there's no rounds, but as you can see here, you're getting, you're basically getting XP. So you're, le you're leveling her up, just like a character. So... But I've only played, I only played this one a little bit, so. And then, um, I played this, I played a little bit of this as well, but I'm not gonna, but I don't, I don't have time, so. And then I'm gonna have to. So, I gotta do that in order to kill the music. So, let's go ahead and get... So, but anyway, um, after, I, after that stream was over, um, just did my usual, played a little bit of Gems of War, played it for about, like, 10, 15 minutes again, just enough to do, like, a few PvP battles, and then call it good. Um, Idle Champs, however, I was actually on that a, a fairly long while. Um, there's a, just, there was a new, a new ter new area, a uh, new area, I found a new way of getting, uh, getting extra characters and stuff like that, so just kind of worked out of that, and again, this is my, uh, this is my lazy day, so I just didn't really have the gumption to do something like like play Killer Instinct or something, so. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink here. So, but yeah. Um I can't I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, well, but anyway, um, but yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably just play some more Idle Champs later on. So, because, sorry to sound like a broken record, but I don't really have much energy to do anything else. So. But, otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so... So, well, it's it, and that's that. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. And uh, I should be able to do—I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, oh, and um, I need to kind of rewind back a little bit. I totally forgot, but I also um, I also did a couple online matches as well, and those those actually went pretty good. Um, so I'll probably doing I'll probably be doing some more of those on my next stream. So. But once again, um, thanks for listening. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for uh, coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.